Thank you. Good evening. I, I uh, several times today have tried to work out what I thought would be an appropriate introduction to the woman who is my guest tonight and tomorrow, and I'm afraid I, I really haven't come up with one that does her justice. It's, uh, not, it's no good trying to recite all of her film titles or the awards she's won. It's tempting to start saying Intermezzo, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Notorious, Gaslight, and so on, but the list is too overwhelming, and it seems obvious to say that she's uh, a great beauty, one of the great personalities of our time, and uh, the fact that she is has made her a part of all of our consciousness says, and uh, I don't want to dwell too much on her well-deserved reputation for courage and candor, and if you don't know about that, you will see it demonstrated uh, soon enough, I expect, tonight. I think the best thing I can do is to say that here is a legend, a great talent, someone who's all the things that are summed up in the phrase, a true lady, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ingrid Bergman. Right. Let's see, I think you're there. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, I doubt if anyone has been in the situation that you're in right now because you have made uh, a film that involves a very uh, devastating, you might say, d mother and daughter relationship, uh, Ingmar Bergman's new film, Autumn Sonata. And your own daughter is in the position of being a, a critic. Uh, is she disqualifying herself in this case? Um, yes, she criticizes theater and yes. not movies. She introduced me for a second the <laughs> other evening because she had seen the movie, but uh, she's not going to criticize In it. real life, she's not even going to... Uh... Well, she's told me that she liked it. She doesn't dare to say anything else, does she? <laughs> she is, after all, your daughter. <laughs> Uh, yes. And the parallels are interesting, as you obviously know, because uh, you play a performing mother, a, a mm -hmm. performing uh, mother in the film. Yes, a pianist. And but it could be an actress. It could be anyone that has mm -hmm. to leave her home, her husband and children, to go to other countries to make long tours. You know, it doesn't have to be a pianist, but Ingmar Bergman wanted it uh, because I think uh, he's been married to a pianist and he knows how hard they work. And uh, I didn't realize myself that it was really from morning to night, a constant work, 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 even yeah. when you are at home. Yes. Uh, there's one scene in which uh, they pan from your hand up, so we see that it is actually you playing the piano. But yes. uh, I gather that the, uh, <laughs> the hard stuff was it's done. The only, it's the only <laughs> thing you that's, see. <laughs> that's the only part, is it? Uh, did, uh, did the ex-Mrs. Bergman um, Yes, coach she, you on that? She She's the did, yes. Mm -hmm. She was there and she taught us how to sit and how to behave and also not to use your face muscles too much. Mm -hmm. And she taught Lieb how to play it in a poor way and how I should play it in, in a more brilliant way. Yeah. And uh, it was very interesting because, you know, it's easy when you play the piano to overdo it too much. You shake your head and you do all those things and mm -hmm. actually uh, she said that good pianists are much more restrained. And I hate it when you see the, the actor going like this and the sound is going <laughs> <laughs> or something, there's no connection at all. Yeah.